We're here at Patterson Stadium in Perth. We're unfortunate the Ireland have lost to Australia 56-46 in the international rules. A one-off test we would like to, Nicholas, the first quarter really done Ireland, didn't it? Yeah, it was disappointing the first quarter, but look at uh, boys dug deep, came out in the second quarter, we sort of tried hard again and then at the half time we had a chance to just reevaluate where we were and we came out in the second half with a different sort of game plan, different structure and uh, I'm very proud of the boys the way they finished the game. I know it's easy to say now, but is it frustrating that you didn't start with that game plan that worked so well in the second half? Yeah, well look, look it's like anything, if we started that way and it didn't happen we would have changed it anyway, so you know the big thing is that uh, when we reevaluated, the boys were able to adapt and the adapt that they did and we watched the Australians straight away and we thought we had a valuable game plan that, that was able to suit our style of play as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, what we said at half time, we, we typically went back in um, the game of games format and, and played as, as, we, as we could. Were you caught on the hop by Australia's tactics? Uh, I don't believe we were caught on the hop. You know, a few little the boys, the boys were very nervous uh, before the game. I got, obviously, there was a lot of hype um, before the game about the whole. Australian side and everything like that and I guess the boys were pretty nervous and I guess another sort of a factor that we have to sort of look at is the amount of time we had in the hotel and different things, little, little, little factors like that the boys wouldn't be just used to and how to spend your downtime and stuff like that but look at we re-evaluated at quarter time and again at half time and as I said very proud of the boys all management team and they were very proud of the work rate and the way we outworked Australians for the second half. It has to go back to a second series or sorry I beg your pardon a two test series doesn't it? Yeah, well, look at, look at, yeah, probably, you know, we're looking at that tonight, you could say yes, uh, but then if we won by 10 points, we would be happy enough to go home with the cup if it wasn't a, a second series as well, but yeah, look, two tests would be ideal, I know the AFL are, are talking about third test, I don't know if that will happen because of the professional game here and the amount of time that they need off in terms of their break and stuff like that, but uh, at the moment it's one test, it's uh, it's an Olympic final as people call it, or it's a World Cup final. Um, we, we, it was, it's the same for both sides and you know at the end of the day we, we're just unlucky in the end. Well, I've seen how hard you've worked with us across the last couple of weeks in Melbourne and Perth so I know how disappointed you are. Nicholas uh, Walsh, thanks for joining us uh, here at uh, Perth where Ireland unfortunately have lost to Australia 56-46. That completes our coverage of the international rules. As I was just saying to Nicholas here, Ireland worked incredibly hard and I guess because Australia have won it maybe it puts a bit more life into the series there's question marks about it from the Australian side ahead of this but I think those question marks are now well and truly gone. Uh, thanks for joining us on our coverage we'll talk to you again soon.